and I'll just answer your questions. But you know, that was a big time win for us. We needed it. Um, showed great toughness, I thought, through the overtime. So obviously, overcame some adversity. Didn't play our best game. Uh, I think it's a testament to again how good this league is, and people saw that a guy like Q Johnson, who hadn't done a whole lot, comes in and gives us 25. We, you know, we had two really good players, in Ray Boo and uh, Josh Hawkinson. But uh, it's a good win. We'll take it. We'll move on. We're not real happy with the way we played. I thought our defense and rebounding let us down, but uh, we made just enough shots and we, we toughed it out. So I think that'll. I'll answer your questions. George Keene said he told his teammates before the game they needed a new double with Josh um, sitting out. Yeah. Uh, certainly. I, I don't agree with that. I mean, it, it didn't need to do double. What we needed to do is everybody needed to get one or two extra rebounds. You know, six, six or seven guys that are playing minutes get one or two extra rebounds. That's an extra 14 rebounds. Josh averages nine or ten. We're good. Uh, we, didn't, we got out rebounded tonight. Not acceptable. We didn't guard tonight. You know, they come in our building and shoot 50%, not acceptable. And what this team needs, they don't need to get 20% better or twice as much. They just need to get better at what they're capable of doing. And look, the last two games, we play at Oregon State. Okay, we lose a, a heartbreaker, have a chance to win the game. Tonight we win, I'm sure, a heartbreaker for, for Washington State. Against Oregon State, our defense and our rebounding is plenty good enough. We turned the ball over 24 times. Tonight our defense and rebounding fails us. Wasn't good enough. We turned the ball over eight times. It's like we've got to be more consistent. And I think it gets back to concentration and uh, execution. Coach, uh, yes. you had a best finish point from that shot by George King. Did you mm -hmm. know what about his handles in? And I didn't. Yeah, it, was a, it was great defense, I'll tell you. That it was a big time shot. I mean, that guy George was 6'6 because he needed every inch. And, I think it was Hawkinson who played it. I mean, he was shaking hands with him. And, uh, uh, you know, that shot wins the game if they don't make that call they made after the basket went in uh, on the other end. But uh, big time shot. I mean, he had the awareness to know we needed a three. I think God, Q Johnson misses that free throw. That's, that's, the, that's the difference between winning and losing, you know, at this level. You know, Q Johnson makes that free throw, the game's over with. But he didn't. He gave us a chance. We took advantage of it. And uh, thank goodness, because uh, this would have been a heartbreaking, uh, really devastating loss for this program. And that's, that's the thing about college basketball. Is, uh, we, everybody talks about the tournament and RPIs and all that. It's just hard to win games, especially in February. I mean, it's getting it's hard. You take any win in February and you put it in your pocket and you move on. But it was uh, it wasn't great. Coach, Coach George said you would have uh, been getting yelled at that didn't go in for not having any ball. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coach. Fletch, uh, Fletch twisted his ankle into practice yesterday. Tried to go, couldn't go. Limped. I just said, if you're limping, I'm not going to play. He got beat off the dribble really bad. And, it's like, and he starts limping down the floor. It's like, just, just uh, get arrested for Saturday. So that was, that was the only thing. Coach, you had twenty. You, you guys had twenty-four points off of turnovers tonight. You really capitalized off of their yeah. mistakes. Yeah, you know, and that was, a, you know, again, turnover margin for us has been a, a, not our best. You know, we're twelve, eleven to twelve in the league. Tonight, you know, we turned over eight times. They're eighteen. That's plus ten. Made up for our lack of defense and lack of rebounding. So uh, it's nice when we turn it over. I thought, I thought our defensively, I thought Xavier Talton, Thomas Akiazili, really did a good job for most of the game. And uh, we were trying to double him off ball screens, get the ball out of his hands, because he had 27 on us at their place. He's a good player. Hard to guard one-on-one. -on -one. So I thought our bigs did a great job of corralling him and making him turn it over, uh, get rid of it. And we wanted somebody else to beat us, not, not a Raven. They had uh, 40 points in the paint. It seemed like their game plan was just drive, drive, drive. I mean, I know that Josh yeah. was on that. But did you know if you guys figured out what was going to happen? Yeah. And, and look, there were some lineups. It's like defensively we wanted Torrey. Wes out there. Offensively, we wanted Josh Fortune and you know some guards out there, and that's where it became really kind of hard. You know, substitution. Do you, do you, are you going for offense? Are you going for defense? I wanted to challenge our guys defensively, but you know, Connor, uh, the Clifford kid, boy, he's a good player. He makes post scoring look just easy. He's got a great touch. He's got a big wide body. Um, Hawkinson, you know, played his normal game. He has his double double. And, 
eight for twelve uh, from the field. He's a good player, um, but uh, Clifford is a load down there. But we need we need a Tory. Yeah, Tory and Dom foul trouble. Yeah, off and on the game was that hard to get in any kind of? It game? was hard because we were shorthanded to begin with. And so we played some zone at the end of the first half to kind of get through the half. And I thought it was good for us, but the second half, uh, you know, we, we were mostly man to man. We didn't go zone a lot in the second half, but uh, again, they were starting to shoot the ball a little bit better from the perimeter, so we wanted to uh, just make make them take tough twos. And, uh, but yeah, Dom never got in the flow of the game, and he fouled out in 14 minutes. I mean, defense, defensively, he was he was a non-factor. They just were going right at him, so he, he needs to get better with that. But I thought he made a big time play. Um, on a high ball screen play that we run for him, it was an and one, we made the free throw, got him in, boom, a couple positions later, he fouls out. So, uh, Dom's going to be fine. Again, he's, uh, he's a good player. He just won defensively tonight, it was not his night. So, but for, fortunately, Thomas and uh, David Talton really uh, he picked up for him. When you can win one like this, when you yeah. don't play well at this time of the year, no that question. That says something about the grit and the toughness of our team. And I, you know, I set it up the Oregon State game. To turn the ball over 24 times on the road and have a chance to win the game says something about this team. It says something about their grit. It says something about their toughness. Tonight we're without you know, one and a half starters basically, right, with Josh and, and, and Fletch. And we battle and we win a game that, you know, uh, we didn't play our best in. And we're shorthanded. And, this is three years in a row we've lost our best player. Now, Josh isn't out for the year, thank God. But it's, uh, you know, when you lose your best player this time of year for a game like this, it's, it uh, throws a wrinkle into things. And our guys, I thought, handled it uh, for the most part very well. Coach, uh, a lot of guys big minutes tonight. Yep. Uh, it's a double overtime. Quick turnaround. What becomes the challenge of making sure these guys are ready at noon well, on Saturday? Yeah, we're, gonna, we're not going to do much tomorrow. Shoot free throws. We're going to prepare for Washington. No tape. Probably aren't going to. Probably may not even break a sweat. We're going to rehab. We're going to stretch. We're going to get cold tubs. We're going to make sure that Saturday at noon these guys are fresh mentally. They're fresh physically. They're fresh fresh emotionally. Because this is a this was a, an emotional game. It was a tiring game. A heavy minute game for a lot of guys. So tomorrow the worst thing we could do is come out and try to practice try to get better at certain things. Our guys know what they need to get better at. They know what we did well. They know what we didn't do well. So it's more of a mental uh, day. And But yet we have to get our game plan in for Washington. And, you know, we're playing the second time, which helps. Um, but, you know, they're sitting in the Marriott tonight hoping this thing goes quad over time. You know, they're resting and we're out here busting our mouth. That's the way the schedule goes. But uh, we'll, we'll be ready. But we better play better than we played tonight against Washington. And we're going to be... Uh, do you have any timetable for Josh? I don't. No, it's day to day. He's getting better every day. It's just, you know, it's a, there's still some pain in there. Most of the swelling's gone, but there's some pain. And, you know, big guys, it takes a little bit longer sometimes because I think he's carrying a lot of weight. So hopefully Fletcher will be ready. Hopefully Josh will be ready. But I don't know. The timeline, I, I don't have a feel for it right now. Thank you. One question for my class? Not the yes, let's go. Give us some, put me on the spot. Come on, class. Uh, come on. Got some freshmen out there. <laughs> come on. Give me some. Put me on the spot. Well, I'll let you know on Saturday. Okay. But I think the, the one thing about our team is our team is resilient. Um, it is a quick turnaround. Um, and again, as a coach, you want to make sure they're fresh mentally. You want to make sure they're fresh physically and emotionally. And, and if, uh, if we can bounce back, which I think we will, we've been a very resilient team all year, whether it's coming off of losses like we did. We came off two losses and we win a game. Here tonight, a tough, hard-fought game. Or whether it's coming off wins. You know, our guys got to be focused and ready. And there's no doubt in my mind they will be because we've got some tough-minded guys that, that show tonight. Okay, thanks. Good question, my man. <laughs>